Hey there, this is Chris Abraham. This is the Chris Abraham Show. It's season five, episode 24, 24, and I'm here at the wonderfully delightful uh, Penrose Square Park at their water feature, which you can hear thrumming in the background. And there's a million little kids playing and a million little... Nobody has their shirt off. It's all everybody and completely like that. those awful... Like what the what's wrong with white kids? Those awful lycra uh, long sleeve shirts that everybody wears to swim these days because apparently everybody's afraid of the sun. Um, and it's quite good. It's quite good. And it is the Fourth of July right now, and it is uh, ten twenty seven in the morning on July fourth, twenty twenty three. And I was just popping in. I did one yesterday, but. The reason why I'm doing this one today is because I saw a I saw a um, a YouTube video called "This Changes This Changes Fat Loss" by Ryan uh, Humis, Humiston Humiston Humiston, and what it's about is he says ready to learn about high energy flux diets and how they make it easier to lose fat. And I think it's really interesting because I've been doing this uh, naturally for the last eight weeks, 12 weeks now. As you know, I implemented a ruck into my daily life. And before, it was a 12 kilogram ruck filled with only my super big ThinkPad X220, a huge um, battery bank underneath it, a, uh, a dock, and uh, a big bag of tech tools and chargers and plugins and batteries, and a bag with a TRX in it, and um, a, generally a thermos of coffee and a bottle of water, and that is what I carried. And then I lost 24 kilograms, and I bought a 20 pound plate uh, for my bag. So now it's 43 to 45 pounds that I'm carrying. And my argument in my head was, I want to prove to myself that I'm not a weakling 53 year old, that 53 year old is young. And that even though I had uh, AFib and uh, died for three minutes and had um, heart failure at 47, I still was not delicate. I'm still durable. I'm still strong. So I started carrying around a 20 pound plate in, in my uh, GORUCK GR1 26 liter ruck, in addition to all my other gear that I mentioned. And um, it's been going swimmingly. I haven't pumped up the mileage, but I just walk around with it every day. For example, now, it's not a weighted vest, so I'm not, when I'm sitting here recording uh, on the bench uh, in Penrose Square Park, I don't have it on my back. But every other time, when I'm not sitting, working, or at the cafe, or recording a podcast, or at home, I, I schlep it. And so I changed my name on my Insta, sorry, my instance of Mastodon, I changed my name from Chris Abraham to Chris Schlepper, Schlepper. So that's what I do now. A guy in Starbucks, when I got my two dobios, my two quads and my two waters, he lives in my building and he walks around a beagle with a t-shirt on that says, no bad vibes. And we chatted this morning because I saw him yesterday and so I'm like, uh, uh, hey, T-shirt, I'm the guy you saw last night. And he said, are you going for a hike? And I'm like, I hike every day. 
I just don't go for a hike. I just hike every day. And because if I were in the woods or in the mountains, I'd kill myself. I only hike in the cities. And so I hike every day, but I don't hike anywhere. I hike every day, but I don't hike anywhere. And that's true. I'm going to be walking around all day till probably 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. And I aspire to get... I, I need my uh, Fitbit on my right wrist. I need it to buzz at me at least with the 12,000 uh, 12, step mark. I might be so bold as to up my 12,000 step mark to 14,000 steps today out of hubris, pride, and boldness. But actually, I'll do that. I'll do that right after the recording. Or maybe I'll do it right now. Let's see if I can do it right now. La, 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 la. La 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 Here we are. I'm going to change it to 14,000 steps right here. Hey, voila. My distance I'll make from 6 to 10 miles a day. And, uh... That's it. So, yesterday I did 14,817 steps, but I spent all day schlepping around D.C. Today I'm going to be local. I'm going to be just schlepping locally. So, I will need to, if I'm only halfway there at the end of the day, I will need to continue walking around the neighborhood like I have schleprosy until the 14,000 alarm you know, goes ahead and, and ring a rings on my on my wristy wrist. I am letting my left hand Garmin Instinct Solar, Instinct One Solar. I'm letting it decide how many steps I can do because it like has this sort of like active adjustment based on how many steps you can do. And based on that, la 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 la. la. Um, I don't know. I don't remember how it works. Let's see. Here we are. It says my goal is 6,240 steps. So I will let that goal be adjusted based on its own decision and see how it adapts according to my goal of 14,000 steps. Anyway, so there's this thing, and I'm going to use the wrong word, but I'm speaking layman because that's all I am. There's a thing called your base metabolism, and your base metabolism really level or whatever is how many, how many calories your body burns uh, just normally, just by sitting around, right? And We'll see very quickly. La 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 la. La la la. Base. Metabolism. Let's see. Calculator, right? So, I'm... 300 pounds now. Um, my age is 53. My height is six foot three. And my weight is 300 pounds. And when I calculate, it tells me that I my BMR my resting BMR is 2,291 calories um, sedentary. If I exercise three, four times a week, I exercise um, daily exercise, my base would be 3,552. Now, when I was 350 pounds, my BMR was 2518, so it's sort of still the same. It's, oh, hold on. Uh, 
so before my sedentary little or no exercise is 2750 but exercising daily is 3552 but when I pop it up to 350 my base is 3022 and uh, my daily exercise makes it 3903 so with that in mind this guy who I mentioned a million years ago and went off on a complete random thing the name of the of the video is this changes fat loss and it's by like I said uh, Ryan Humiston or Humiston and his theory is is that if you just lose weight based on restricting calories like going to 1500 calories and remain sedentary and just lose weight based on a deficit the more weight you lose the less your uh, BMR your base me metabolic metabolic rate is and so as you're heavier it's quicker to lose weight based on caloric restrictions and as you get lighter it's harder because your base metabolic rate is lower because you've lost that weight and you don't take it into account so he says that every day in addition to whatever calorie restrictions you do he, he recommends that you at least do 500 calories of activity a day he recommends walking but you can do anything he recommends walking because like it's really hard to do uh, to run for an hour for a lot of people so he recommends you know 30 minutes of walking or an hour of walking or whatever so uh, what I do is both and then he mentioned a study that he saw on his video and I'm not gonna go into that rabbit hole about a guy who wore a weighted vest every day to compensate for the weight he lost and I just saw this video last night and he wore you know one of those ballistic exercise weight compensation vests I have a GORUC one I have a GORUC one that allows me to put my 45 pound plate into my into my back into a sleeve in the back and kind of wear it like a backpack with only uh, the weighted plate in there uh, I own that, but I haven't used it because I always want to schlep things, right? I'm not a schlepper if I'm just carrying, like, the weight. So uh, the schlepperacy makes me feel like I need to carry uh, the EDC of a small army every day, uh, including Narcan. So if you're ever going into overdose from a, uh, a, a fentanyl, uh, just tap me on the shoulder and I will restore you to health. And then call 911. Or call 911 and then restore you to health. Or yell, someone call 911 and then I've got two doses. So if you're really OD'd, I have a second one because that's how you're supposed to carry them. Anyway, so the theory here is that as you lose weight, you replace the weight with weighted plates and that will maintain your uh, base metabolistic metabolism rate. Um, and so I've been doing that sort of. Like, I think tonight I'm going to order a 30-pound plate so that I can really restore myself to uh, being the 50 pounds heavier that I've been. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to spend more time adapting to the 43 pounds so that I don't turn it into a daily, you know, 24 kettlebell challenge walking around with a 24 kettlebell on my back every day. But that sounds pretty cool. I feel like since I'm a worship, worship, worshiper, uh, worship, worshiper of Pavel uh, Tsu Tsu Studio, whatever his name is, I feel like doing that, carrying around 24, ki 24 kilograms on a daily basis is, is sexy AF. As I um, maybe said in another podcast or another episode, I, um, I'm doing this, my, my initial reason for doing this is not uh, all the fancy reasons that Humiton, Humiton, Humison suggested, but because it makes me feel durable, right? When I talk about how much I'm carrying every day, people on the GORUCK subreddit think I'm crazy. Oh my God, you're 53. Oh my God, oh my God. But don't forget that, like, you know, the French Foreign Legion allows people to knock at their door as uh, late as uh, 40. 
and those guys are still training their recruits until they're 50 and 60, right? Like, uh, um, not Schwarzkopf, but, um, uh, that other, those other generals were like, you know, gray haired and white haired studs still doing their daily run around the green zone. So I am not back to, uh, daily slow jogging, but I am certainly back to, um, feeling durable. And when I met up with my buddy Craig yesterday, he told me he thinks I have a little bit of a limp. So remind me to go to a chiropractor. I, I have noticed some weird wearing on my shoes, but that's as a result of just being 350 pounds and being fucked up for the last five years. So six years or whatever. So I feel durable. I have my big, you can hear it here, my big uh, pack. And uh, I didn't walk very far. I only walked to here, which is only, I think, a thousand yards, maybe. But um, that's what I'm up to today. Today's the 4th of July. I'm going to work today, but uh, I don't know what is or isn't open. So I will roll with the punches. And if I need to, I will end up working from home from my treadmill desk. But it's not ideal. So I assume that Starbucks might be open till late 30. So, um the worst case scenario, I'll come back to, uh, EC. So that's what I'm doing. The main reason why I'm doing it is for durability so that I, and a second reason is for full body workout, because whether you believe it or not, adding a weight in a backpack to your back actually works core and legs and shoulders and, um, um, Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Na, 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 na. So, and the third reason, which I've just added from today or yesterday when I saw the video, is that it um, increases the baseline, uh, the baseline weight. I do not work that into any of my systems. I just know that when I'm 350 pounds, it's easier to get to 500 pounds spent than it is if you are 150 pounds. So I have done a, just a really good job of adding that weight back. And uh, and I'm wearing, uh, I'm wearing, you know, I dusted off an old pair of, um, of Mac V1, black Mac V1 replicas of Vietnamese jungle boots with flat soles that I bought from Go Ruck, like, three or four or five years ago. They're the first version. And, you know, my feet, like, when I was 350 pounds, like, any shoes that I didn't put on that weren't Hoka's, I couldn't walk very far with them at all. Like, one of these days I need to go into how much suffering went into recovery. Like, uh, Mark knows that right after I left the hospital, I couldn't even walk uh, two blocks. I couldn't even walk a block. I couldn't even walk a um, 100 feet without sitting down again. And the entire time I was starting to walk again, I would have to like stop at every bus stop and just sit there and let the bite, let the, let the buses go by. And, um, and then if I didn't wear the right cushy, cushy, cushy Nova Blast three shoe, my feet would get sore and they'd complain at me and they'd get hurt and this kind of thing. And now I'm wearing those same shoes. I'm wearing things like my, um, uh, Noble, uh, weightlifting booties and I'm wearing these Mac the ones and and I'm wearing my blunt stones and I'm even wearing my uh 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 dire, uh, uh Chuck Taylors I'm even wearing my Chuck Taylor high tops and my feet are back to being good feet not complainy pre-diabetic diabetic kind of ne necropolis is that a word necromancer is that a word Ne ne I don't know, whatever the term is, like, not good enough blood, blood, not strong enough feet, not light enough body. And now, um, my, uh, my former sales guy from Abraham Harrison, he, uh, he actually saw me in my, uh, he actually saw me in my, uh, pair of, uh, ubiquitous black, blacked out two-ton noir um, Pegasus 
and he suggested that maybe that wasn't enough support. So I decided to appease him because he keeps wanting to uncle or daddy me. I decided to uh, appease him and try it out. His name's Mike Ferry. And he recommended that I kind of go for something that had more support. And uh, like a boot. And so the, the shoes, no, he saw me wearing a pair of Whiten or Witten cheap minimalist bare, barefoot shoes from Amazon. Which are low, top, and minimalist. And I told him that 350 pound men from Hawaii have ankles of steel. But I know that's not true because I did roll my ankle once and it sucked. So I started wearing uh, these Mac V. They look like Vietnam era jungle boots. They've got, you know, the drainage hole and they've got the webbing on the side. But they have completely flat, kind of like weightlifter. Um, uh, they don't have any heel. They don't have any lug. So they're much more stable. And I've been wearing these uh, to compensate for the fact that I don't want to roll a, an ankle. I want more stable platform. And the minimal cushion that they have is just fine for me. I can walk all day with them and they don't bother me. So I'm feeling less and less fragile. And like I said, my number one reason for this entire venture is I don't care about how long I live or die. I just don't want to be fragile. And for the last six, seven years, I've felt incredibly fragile. I felt uh, too fragile to rocket on my bike. I felt too fragile to like not power my bike up a hill. I felt too fragile to do a lot of things. And uh, rocking a 45 pound backpack every day makes me feel strong, right? A lot of the women I've dated weighed 110 pounds, right? And uh, 43 pounds is almost half their body weight. It's like walking around with a Michelle Nolan every day, um, who, you know, at five feet tall, she wasn't even 100 pounds. That girl uh, was tiny. So I think, like, even based on, like, a lot of uh, petite women are, like, 85, 95 pounds. Like, I'm slipping around with half a girl on me every day. Uh, you dads and moms who slip around a child, a 45-pound child. I mean, I see uh, indigenous uh, Central and South American women who are who live in my neighborhood who are literally four foot nine and are carrying a four foot tall child as if it were a baby on their hip. So I don't even know what the proportional weight and muscle density is of a, of an indigenous um, Andean or an indigenous Salvadoran or a, an indig indigenous Guatemalan or an indigenous Peruvian, or uh, an indigenous Mestiza, is compared to uh, the rest of the world. Because honestly, I, if I could go ahead and hang out with a you know 45 pound weight on my hip every day, just kind of like normally, that would be pretty awesome. I'd be pretty into it. Um, on that note. Uh, there are only there are only hot moms at this at this park playing uh, amongst the water. They're all hot moms. They're all in flip flops. They all look. They all have baseball caps and reflective glasses. They all look like they're like yachty girls from um, uh, Annapolis. They look like Annapolis yachty girls or like like yacht, the kind of yachty girls from um, uh, Charleston. Or they look like uh, New England Yachty girls, you know what I mean? Like uh, great shape, uh, shorts and flip-flops and baseball caps and reflective, like reflective mirrored sports glasses. Some of them have their ponytail pulled through that little puka, that little hole in the hat. So cute, so adorable. Anyway, all white girls. Uh, but that was a fun dalliance. That was fun, but I'm sure you've heard little kids and people talking and you've heard water in the background and you've heard diesel trucks and buses and traffic from Columbia Pike and you've heard me yammer on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Amen. Anyway, I'll try to put a link to the video 
on the uh, notes. And I'm sure you've realized already that what I do for my podcast notes is I go into Google Bard and I go into ChatGPT and I kind of just ask the ChatGPT AI gods for like some information about the topic that I'm talking about. And based on that, it just vomits out a bunch of stuff and I don't really look at it. I just kind of copy and paste it. And I even have uh, Bard and, and ChatGPT name my podcast. So those names, which I try to maximize to as close to 200 characters as I can, because that's what uh, Spotify podcast allows me to do. And all those colons that, you know, the whole thing looks like a doctoral thesis. That's completely AI generated too. So I don't know if maximizing, I think that the show notes allow you up to 4,000 characters. And I try to get as close to 4,000 characters as I can get. So I might include the bio of that guy, Humiston or Humison or whatever. And I might talk about base metabolic rate and I might talk about weighted vest training and I might talk about durability and I might talk about, I don't know, I'll ask several questions or I might only ask one and be lazy and I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.